All right, so again, good morning. Let's find a nice athletic position. All right, ground those feet a little bit for me. Now what, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine you're pulling weights towards your chest or ripping open the front of your shirt. So that's gonna set our T-spine. And now I want you to reach back forward, interlock your fingers and press your pointer fingers forward, almost like you're, you're pointing at somebody, you're pointing at blaster if you wanna call it that. And then we're gonna work a little bit of movement, working side to side with that nice strong reach. A little wiggle in the body, trying to open up that lateral line, open up that T-spine. And let's take it back to center, open up that shirt again, and press, interlock, and work. We're gonna change that camera angle just a little bit, just so you can kind of see. Here, I'm just trying to manipulate that upper torso, manipulate that T-spine a little bit, trying to get things to open up. And relax, all right. So keeping that grounded stance, I want you to imagine you're picking the earth up. So pinch the earth, and I want you to pull it up nice and strong all the way to the sky, and press it back down. Pull, press, Intense here, you're putting enough effort to rip the earth. Pull up, press, pull, press, pull, and press. All right, so you got a little tension going on there. What I want you to do now is take your hands behind your back. Take that right hand, grab onto your left wrist. All right, so we got a nice strong grip here. All right. Rib cage stays down, we're going to squeeze those shoulder blades back, take those hands off of the body, and now we're going to try to lift those hands towards the upper back, and relax. Let's go again, shoulder blades back, hands off the back, and lift. Relax, one more in this position, shoulder blades back, hands off, and lift. And relax. All right, shake it out. Same thing. Now we're taking that left hand, grab it onto that right wrist. All right, shoulder blades back. Lift those hands off and lift up. Relax. Don't go where you feel pain. Just a little bit of uh, uh, maybe slight discomfort to the shoulders as we're opening them up. Off the body, lift. Exhale. One more. Relax. Shoulder blades back, hands off the body, and lift. Wonderful, relax. All right, so hopefully the shoulders are feeling pretty good. We're gonna transition down to that lower body. Let's take that left foot forward, toes are towards the knees, and now I want you to press that left hip back so we get a nice, deep hamstring stretch there. Once we have that set in, we're gonna take that belly button, rotate it to the left, rotate it towards that front leg, Exhale, back to center, stand tall, right foot, press that right hip back, belly button goes off to the right now, we're going to feel that little deeper stretch in that hamstring, getting a little bit of that hip, back to center and tall, we're going to pick up pace just a little bit, left foot, hinge, rotate, stand tall, right, hinge, rotate, Tall, left, rotate. Tall, right, rotate. Tall, left. Tall, right. Tall, last time left. Tall, last time, right. Excellent. All right, we're going to stay standing for just a little bit longer. This time, I want you to get those feet underneath the hips. I want us to take those hands behind the back, just low back this time. They're just holding on to each other. Don't have to worry about being too engaged or anything. And we're just going to start rounding down towards the floor, and we're just going to fold all the way down. All right, trying to get that head towards the floor. All right, weight's back in the heels. We're not falling over. We're breathing. All 
All right, if you can, I want you to interlock those fingers. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. We're still in a forward position. And I want to see if you can start getting those knuckles towards the sky. Only go as far as you feel comfortable here. We got the shoulders primed first for a reason to actually build up to this drill. Breathe. Bring your hands down. Reset. Shoulder blades back and down. Lift hands. You can only go as far as your body allows you to go. We don't want to feel pain. Hands down. Let's take those hands to those knees. Lift up and roll all the way up. Excellent, y'all. All right. Let's go ahead and drop that right knee down to the ground. We're going to start making our way to the floor. We've got five dynamic hip flexor openers here. So I know y'all know this one well. That root cage stays down. We're tall through the head. And we're going to exhale as we rock forward, trying to open up that right hip, the hip of the knee that's down. All right, let's work through these together. Rocking forward. Back. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. Last two. Fire off that right glute. Forward. So squeezing through that bottom on your right side. Back. Forward. Now we're going to hold. Breathe normally as we continue to try to fire off through that right glute, creating distance from that right hip and the bottom of that right knee. We're nice and tall. And relax. Let's go and switch it on out. Same thing, opposite side. All right, we're going to work those rocks first, working that exhale with each position. All right, forward, exhale. Back, forward. Back, forward. Back, forward. Last one, back. Forward and hold. Breathe normally. You're firing off through that left glute now, that glute of the knee that's down. We're nice and tall, creating distance along that quad from that hip flexor to that knee. And relax. Come on down to a double kneel position, if you don't mind. And now we're going to come on to a quadruped position. So hands underneath the shoulders. Once we get here, actually real quick, let's just breathe in as you drop the belly. Exhale as you take spine to sky. Again, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, spine to sky. All right, just sneak those in a little bit, or real quick. All right, let's go ahead and take that left foot outside of that left hand. We've done this one before. You're not going to see a lot on camera, so you really got to pay attention more to yourself and more of that body feels. Now we have that left hand outside, or left foot outside of that left hand. I want you to try to lift the chest. All right, palms stay onto the ground. You're going to feel that groin and left hamstring being challenged. Exhale. And relax, left foot comes back, right foot up, lift. Relax, left foot, lift. Relax, right foot, lift. Relax, four more, left foot, lift. Don't try to find distance with your head. If you notice, I'm not looking up. I'm actually looking just slightly in front of the body. I'm trying to actively lift my chest so I'm getting really challenged through that groin and hip area. And switch. Switch, last time left. Switch, last time right. Wonderful. All right. 
Reset that position for me, please. All right, we're gonna keep somewhat of the same mindset, but we're gonna go and kick up to a plank position for just a moment. Now let's see if you can get that left foot outside of that left hand. And what I want you to do here, at the very beginning, we're gonna create as much tension from the top of the head through that right heel. So you're making your body as long as you can, pulling in that rib cage, strengthening through that belly, lowering of the hip. Now for my really flexible people, for the next few seconds, you can drop to those forearms, trying to create the same tension from top of your head through that heel. And reset, left foot comes back, right foot comes up. Start off on the hands first, as long as we can from head to heel. And then again, for my super mobile people, you can lower down to those forearms, but you're having the same mentality, still trying to create that tension. So I'm already noticing my right hip's a little bit tighter as I'm not able to get my right forearm down as easily as I could with my left, so I'm going to come back up to a higher position, keep my body honest. Try to get that hip to open. And right foot back, you drop those knees for just a quick second. Give yourself a little shake to the shoulders if they're starting to get slightly fatigued. And we're gonna work into a little bit of a down dog, bear squat combination here. All right, so back to that plank. Strong through the shoulders, elbow creases turn forward. We're gonna punch those hips back, press through those heels. You've got 10 seconds. Breathe. So our bear squat, some of you know it, some of you do strength flow with me. In just a moment, we're going to pull those hips down towards those heels, almost like in a sit-back position. So it's going to take those hips down, the knees are still off the floor, and then punch those hips up, press through those heels, down dog, breathe. Pull those hips down, punch, down dog. We have two more of those. Press, press, press. Press through those heels. Press through those fingertips. Pull down. Punch. Let's imagine you're taking the back of your knees towards the wall behind you to really help lengthen out those hamstrings. Lengthen through that Achilles. And last time, pull down. Punch. And relax, drop the knees, shake those arms out, so to be a little fatigued. All right, we have one more stretch in this position. We are going to work our dynamic pigeon or our pigeon stretch. <clears throat> Please listen to the body on this one. Uh, breathe through it. You're not going to be in trouble. I am going to keep us dynamic, and then we're going to work into more of a hold, but still having that intent through the body. There's a difference between mobility and flexibility. We're not just trying to crank on the muscle. We're trying to get the muscle to actually work in that position. All right, so now we're in plank position. I'm gonna get that left shin behind the wrist. I'm actually gonna keep you a little higher than normal. So I know I'm wearing black on the black floor, so you really can't see this gap I have underneath my left hip. But hopefully you realize it's there. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press my left hip back and over as I exhale. And up. Four more, your tempo with your breath. Exhale as you sit back. Inhale as you come up, exhale as you go back, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. All right, keeping that left leg forward, I want to see if you can get a little bit more of a lower position if, it's, if that's more comfortable for you now. So my left is pretty much on the ground now. I'm going to take that left hand overhead, coming on my right forearm if you need that extra support, or we can take both hands out. And we're going to spend about 30 seconds here. I want you to breathe.
10 more seconds. Let's make your way on up, taking that tension off of that left leg. If you need to sneak in a quick downward dog or a child's pose, just kind of reset those hips. You're more than welcome to. But once you're ready, right shin comes up. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm kind of reversed right now, but my right hip's off the ground. On my exhale, I'm sitting that right hip back. Inhaling as I come up through the nose. Exhaling out of the mouth as I rock back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last dynamic, inhale, exhale, all right, reset, try to lower down a little bit more if you can. Now that I've worked my second side in a much lower position than I was before, hips are starting to finally get in. All right, I'm gonna come reaching that right hand overhead, left forearm support if I need to, or if you need to, and both hands out if you like to get a little crazy. Last 10 seconds. All right, start making your way on up. You can throw a quick down dog or child's pose if you like. I know after working both sides, you can lengthen things back out. And then once you're ready, come on over to a seated position. All right, we're going to start off with just an alternating supported shin box, so a pretty much basic shin box position. So hands or are, are feet are right outside the hips. We're going to drop those knees off to the left. I do want to see a little bit of a gap right, between that heel and knee today. And now we're going to take that right knee across, trying to challenge the groin until that left knee needs to follow. Going left. Right. Left. This time we're going to add a little something, so make sure those hands are supported. I know some of us can go hands-free shin box. Go off to the right. Your right hand's going to stay down. Your left hip is going to extend off to the left as we take that left hand over and across the body. Nice tripod reach here. Exhale. And down. Over to the left. Left hand stays down. Right hip extends, reaching that right hand up and over the body. You're firing off that right glute. Exhale. Down to the right. Same thing. Extend, reach. Down, extend, reach. Going left. We got one more on each side. I know I'm keeping here a little longer than just one breath. So make sure you breathe as needed. Last time to the right. Last time to the left. Bring it back down. All right. Well, y'all, thank you very much for spending your morning with me. Um, if you want to give yourself a little bit of a test, you can stand on up, give yourself a squat or two, possibly a lunge, and just hopefully, if you're feeling a little sore from the week, I know by Thursday and Friday, I'm feeling pretty tight and everything. So you can give yourself a test or two, see how life's feeling this morning. I'm hoping you're feeling pretty good. Thank y'all again for spending the morning with me. Y'all stay classy out there.